Benin has a rich and varied history that spans many centuries. The country was once known as Dahomey, and it was a powerful kingdom that flourished in the 18th and 19th centuries. In the late 19th century, Dahomey was colonized by the French, and it remained a French colony until 1960, when it gained its independence. Since independence, Benin has undergone significant political and economic changes. The country has experienced several military coups and periods of authoritarian rule, but it has also made significant progress in improving its democratic institutions and promoting economic development. Today, Benin is considered a stable and relatively prosperous country in West Africa. Benin is a country with a diverse and vibrant culture that is influenced by a range of factors, including its history, geography, and the various ethnic groups that make up its population. One of the key elements of Benin's culture is its traditional art, which is known for its intricate designs and bold colors. Benin is home to a number of famous artists, including Joseph Adanda, who is known for his sculptures made from recycled materials. Music is also an important part of Benin's culture, with a variety of traditional styles and instruments that are unique to the region. The country is known for its Vodou music, which is played during religious ceremonies and celebrations. Benin's cuisine is a delicious blend of African and French flavors, with dishes that are often spicy and flavorful. Some popular dishes include a cassa, a type of cornmeal porridge, and pot, a type of dough that is filled with vegetables or meat and then fried. Finally, religion plays a significant role in Benin's culture, with a majority of the population following traditional African religions or Christianity. Islam is also practiced by a minority of the population. Benin has a mixed economy that is primarily based on agriculture, manufacturing, and services. The country is one of the poorest in the world, with a per capita income of just over $600 per year, but it has made significant progress in recent years in terms of economic development and poverty reduction. Agriculture is a key sector of the economy, with a majority of the population engaged in farming, fishing, and livestock raising. Major crops include cassava, maize, beans, and rice, and Benin is also a major exporter of cotton. Manufacturing is another important sector of the economy, with a focus on the production of textiles, cement, and other building materials. The service sector, which includes banking, telecommunications, and tourism, is also growing in importance. In terms of trade, Benin is a member of the West African Economic and Monetary Union, WEMU, which promotes regional trade and economic integration. The country exports a range of products, including cotton, textiles, and agricultural products, and it imports a variety of goods, including machinery, fuel, and consumer products. Benin is a multi-party democracy with a presidential system of government. The president, who is elected by popular vote, serves as both the head of state and the head of government, and he or she is responsible for appointing the prime minister and other members of the cabinet. The National Assembly, which is made up of 83 members, is the legislative branch of government. Members of the National Assembly are elected by popular vote and serve five-year terms. There are a number of political parties in Benin, with the main ones being the Renewed Union for Democracy and Progress URD, the Party for Democratic Renewal PRD, and the Alliance for a Dynamic Democracy ADD. Overall, Benin has made significant progress in terms of strengthening its democratic institutions and promoting political stability. The country has held a number of peaceful and competitive elections, and it has a relatively free and independent media. However, there have been instances of corruption and political infighting in the past, and these issues continue to be a concern. Benin is a lesser-known destination in West Africa, but it has a lot to offer tourists who are interested in exploring its rich culture and history. One of the main attractions in Benin is the city of Wida, which was an important hub of the transatlantic slave trade. Visitors can explore the historic center of the city, which is home to the Temple of Pythons, a shrine dedicated to the deity Dangbi, and the Door of No Return, a poignant reminder of the atrocities of the slave trade. Other popular sites to visit in Benin include the Royal Palaces of Abumi, the Gonvai Stilt Village, and the Panjari National Park, 
which is home to a wide variety of wildlife, including elephants, lions, and chimpanzees. For tourists visiting Benin, it is important to be aware of local customs and traditions, and to be respectful of the culture of the country. It is also advisable to take basic precautions to ensure your safety, such as avoiding walking alone at night and being mindful of your belongings. Overall, Benin is a welcoming and friendly destination that is well worth exploring. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the fascinating country of Benin. We've explored Benin's rich history, culture, and economy, and gained a greater understanding and appreciation of this West African nation. From its colonial past and independence, to its modern development and political situation, there is much to learn about Benin. We've also highlighted some of the top sites to visit and recommendations for tourists. If you enjoyed this podcast, please consider subscribing to our channel and checking out our other videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more content about Benin and other exciting destinations. Thank you again for listening.